Good morning, lovelies. I'm so excited because today I am doing a podcast for the Pilates Alliance of Australasia on my upcoming presentation at the PAA conference. So very exciting. I just thought I'd practice a few of the answer questions here while I'm doing my makeup. I want to look my best for the podcast. It's still important to look great. By the way, this is not a makeup tutorial. What I'll be doing is I will be presenting on reels. So the name of my presentation is called Play. Play in the sense that quite often we just get a little bit overwhelmed and it's quite hard to, well not hard, but just feeling confident about making a reel and, and putting it out there and getting more clients and followers on your Instagram feed, which will help to build your business brand and your business. So it's about playing with videoing and filming, and it's actually going to be really, really fun. So getting rid of that inner critic and just playing, really having a play with what you're doing with video and Instagram. Things we'll be looking at are, well, how to frame and how to capture a feeling of a moment and how the light is. We'll practice actually videoing some exercises. I think that's probably going to be the most useful thing is to actually film people moving and doing their exercises so that you get the feeling of how to actually film people doing Pilates and getting the best angles for that movement and playing with the angles as well. So one thing that I'm really interested in is getting contrasting shots. So not just the one shot or the same shot or the same frame, but just changing that up. And also making sure that you're including things like headshots so that you can capture the emotion of the moment. So it's not just about the body moving or the technical aspects, but really the headshot of what you're going to do. My background in video and film really started at high school. I really loved photography. And back then we would develop film in a dark room. So it was quite an exciting process to have a film canister. Like these days you can just look and see what's on your phone directly. But those days you'd have to actually wait and process it in a dark room, which was really fun and really exciting. So from there, I studied a Bachelor of Arts in Dance at Queensland University. And I took a subject called Video Production Techniques, which I really loved. So we made little short films in groups and that was so much fun. And we'll be doing the, that during the workshop. We'll be making short films in small groups so you can get the feeling of just how to get a good shot and get something interesting for your fans and your followers and your clients, most importantly, as well. At QUT, I wrote my thesis on dance, the recorded image. Dance and film just go together. Like, it's about capturing the moving image. And I just, I just love that about film and about dance as well. Then when I came to Melbourne and I was studying at VCA, I then was interested in film as well. So working as a dance artist, I got some funding by the Australian Council for the Arts to go and study film at the New York Film Academy in New York. So this was such a thrill for me. I really love learning how to work with film. So I actually worked on a steam beck, which is basically you're actually cutting real film and editing that real film together by you basically splicing it and taping it together, which is actually so much fun. It really was an awesome course to be a part of. Then from there, I worked also with a number of dance companies that used film. Company in space, they were always using video and film in their works. And as a freelance choreographer, I started using a lot of film in my works as well. I just really loved it. You could capture the moving image and then you could play with the image by slowing it down, speeding it up, creating illusions as well. I really love that about film is the fact you could create illusions and play with gravity and time. That was just so much fun. Some of the key takeaways are things like how to film how to capture the moving body really well, how to capture emotion, and even how to direct people on the type of emotion that you want. Finding those clients who are happy to be filmed and filming them. So it's going to be such a fun time and it'll hopefully break some of those barriers that are stopping you from making more reels because it can feel quite overwhelming to make a reel. But once you start, 
it just becomes so much fun. You're going to really love it. One thing I did want to mention though that I have been seeing with some of the people who I follow on Instagram, just a little tip if you're not actually coming, is please, if you're doing a tutorial, use the captions. So use captions because that is a little easy button that you can find and just tap on that. It'll put your captions down because there's nothing worse when I'm scrolling through and I always have my sound off and then seeing like it looks like nothing is happening, but the speaker is actually behind the camera. You can't even see the lips moving. You're just watching still bodies in space and you're wondering, oh, what's going on? So, I mean, that could be a technique as well. Where you're thinking, oh, what's going on? Maybe I'll click on the play button. But a lot of people will just simply go past it. And reels are so good because they will increase your followers because unlike stories, which just go to people who are following you, reels actually go out to people who aren't following you. So that is an important aspect of reels, you will get more followers, the more reels that you make if they like your reel. And I've done that as well. I've actually been scrolling through and then in my feed, there's reels that pop up and I really like the reels. And then I just start following those people who are making those reels. Yeah, I'm never sorry that I did because it's, it's always interesting. You always learn something new. You're connecting with different people. And yeah, and it's an also important to follow your clients as well because that can be an important important part of connecting with people too. So after attending, you will be able to take back to your studios the skills of being able to video your clients in a positive light and make your clients your heroes in the Pilates studio tell their story and their achievements. And I've noticed the more that I film my clients, the more loyal they become and just making that closer connection and tying everyone more firmly together. So yeah. I think you're going to really love it. Oh, now I'm ready.